and welcome to July's Stack It Challenge. And today I have a special guest. Hello, Internet. It's been a while. This is the <laughs> lovely Kirsty, who I always talk about on my channel, and I think someone is going to ban me one day from putting her face in my videos because but it, now it's in the videos. It's, for real. it's a real it's a real, it's a real face. face, it's not just a picture. See? <laughs> She's not my made-up friend. She's my I'm, real friend. I am. <laughs> but she's here to torture me today I am. because you are going to... I'm going to pick your TBR. I'm going to make you read all the books I've been telling you to read for like forever. And you're going to have to read them. I'm a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> because Kirsty sends me recommendations almost every day because Kirsty is a human reading machine. Mm -hmm. And I take these recommendations and I keep them and I add them to my Goodreads and then nothing, then happens. nothing happens. No. So now she's in charge. <laughs> oh dear. I'm trying to remember all the books that I thought of like two days ago. Yes, like when we first perused the stack. But that and that and that. you can like dictate my reading for a very long time. Was that your elbow or that your was knee? My knee? That was terrifying. <laughs> I'm being so good right now. <laughs> I am the child who looked for her Christmas presents. Oh, okay. This is difficult. Mm-hmm. Books are stacked too tightly and I can't get them out. Okay, I have picked my stack of books. Okay, and the rules of Stack It, just to remind everybody, are that once the stack is made, that is the order I have to read the books in. And I'm not allowed to pause any of the books or start any other books. I have to read the books start to finish or DNF it and unhaul it. Just FYI, if you DNF any of these, I may never talk to you again. Well, there's I'm no pressure. kidding. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she is kidding. <laughs> okay, so the first one is one that I literally just made you buy on your Kindle because I'm good like that. So, um, it's my favourite book of all time ever and it causes me physical pain that you haven't read it yet. I'm and so that sorry. is Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. Gasp! I know, everybody is super shocked about this news. So, tell me why I should read this book, Kirsty. You should read this book because this book is Jane Eyre with murder where basically it's like if Jane Eyre murdered all the super creepy men that she comes across. So that's like 82% I mean I'm bad at maths but 82% of the population of the book? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm seeing no reasons why I won't like this thus far. <laughs> okay I will close my eyes and you can hand me the next book. Okay. Oh. This. <laughs> This is a bit, oh, I know what this book is. Is it the right way round? Ta-da! I'm so shocked that it's this one. This is the Hamel Tome, in case anyone, I mean, if you don't know what it is, you shouldn't be on my channel, so <laughs> you can leave. Um, but I got this for Christmas. Now I have to read it. So, so tell me while I, while I look at the beautiful pictures. That was very awkward. I should never do that. <laughs> Tell me why I look at the beautiful pictures, why I should read this. So bit. you should read the Hamilton um, because it has all of the lyrics in it, which obviously, let's be real, we know 90% of them already. Um, but not that we sang, not that we, we sang half of the musical no, on our way home from Loch Lomond. No, yesterday. that definitely didn't happen. Um, but it has all of Lynn's annotations. Are they legible? Yes, because they're like they're done like footnotes. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Because I don't imagine Lynn to have the no. most legible handwriting in the world. No. So it has all of his annotations on the song lyrics and it also has a lot of really amazing essays about all of the people behind the musical and all of the original Broadway cast and some of them maybe kind of sort of made me cry. So be aware of that when reading this. Okay. Okay. Eyes are closed. Okay. I have no idea what this book is. It's now upside down. <laughs> it's now back to front. <laughs> Spatial awareness <laughs> is not my forte. <laughs> I should, <laughs> I okay. should not be surprised. 
surprised by that either. No, t I will. I will allow you to tell people why why this is the next one in my stack and why it might be like vaguely related to this mm -hmm. one. Um, so Leanne told me the other day that she has attempted to read this book twice, twice, and has not made it past the first like thirty pages. Less. Oh, girl. Less. Oh. But. The secret to reading this book, if you cannot get into reading this book, is that you get the audiobook because it is narrated by Lynn manuel Miranda. And I am not an audiobook person, but having Lynn read me a book was a wonderful, wonderful experience. So you need to have the audiobook and then just look at the cover. Okay, so next, next book. <laughs> Oh, this, this is, oh, I feel like I might know what this is. Mm. Is this Every Heart a Doorway? Yes. Okay, that is okay. <laughs> you, you booby trapped me! Okay, so, we, we, this is Every Heart a Doorway, which I have read. However, mm -hmm. I have not read either of the next mm. two I in the series. I actually haven't either, so maybe we should buddy read them. Maybe we should. Have you been nice and put it the right way up this time? Yes, but you've just turned it upside down. Is this the right way? Yes. <laughs> well, that's another shock. <laughs> this is so, I don't know, Amy Reid. This is The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reid. So, I feel like this book is not read as much as it should be. Yeah. Certainly, I have not seen very many people talking about it on booktube. And... I feel like it needs to be read a lot more than it is because it is phenomenal. It's a very difficult book to read um, because it deals a lot with rape and with rape culture and with teenage girls struggling with that, but it is an incredibly diverse book. It is a beautifully written book and there are some amazing female friendships in it and some amazing moments of female empowerment as a whole. Which are all Leanne Tiki boxes, which I think you knew when you yes. made me buy it uh, in yes. the first place because that, yes. Kirsty, is the reason that I own this. Are you shocked? No. No. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. Well, no, but yes. Okay. Oh, that was a. There you go. Hey! <laughs> and this is Fuzzy Nation by John Scalzi, which actually was bought for me by Helen when I got into the reading slump that inspired the Stack It Challenge in the first place. And Kirsty came in to my study the other day and said, Have you read Fuzzy Nation? And I said, No. no. And I said, Read it immediately. Therefore, why should I read Fuzzy Nation? You should read Fuzzy Nation because it is incredibly funny and there are dinosaur type creatures in it and there is also a really great discussion of what it means to be human, I guess, oh. or to be like a sentient being. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it basically, you had me at dinosaur type creatures I didn't need any intellectual qualities beyond that but okay mm -hmm. okay I'm I'm so far I'm not terrified by the stack but she has many more to go it's upside down. <sighs> you're <Right>. po poopy <laughs> trapping I keep putting them in your hands face up no nope. you keep doing them over okay. <laughs> I don't know when it is Ooh, okay. <laughs> well, I was an idiot for not thinking that Karen Slaughter wasn't going to make it into this stack somewhere because the reason that I read The Good Daughter in the first place was this person here. And she's like, she's closetly very twisted. <laughs> and a lot of my really creepy books come from this person mm -hmm. here. And so this one is... This is Blindsided by Karen Slaughter, which I think is the first yeah, book I'm in pretty sure. the... Yes. Yes. So this is the first one in the Grant County series, um, which is set in small town Georgia, and it is a female medical examiner slash town pediatrician, and her ex-husband, who is the sheriff from oh. memory. Oh, complicated. Um, and she finds a woman in the bathroom of the local diner who has been attacked very very brutally 
as is common for Karen Slaughter's mm -hmm. books. Yes. Trigger warnings no one everywhere is for all, all of the, all the things. Yes. Yes. Um, but she finds a woman who has been attacked and she then has to investigate that. Hmm. Ding 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 ding! I am so happy that there was a Karen Slaughter. I'm just going to rub my face all over it, except not my lipstick, no. because that was hard enough to get right the first time. <laughs> so there this you is go. it! It's only taken me however many books are over there, because I don't do maths either. Nope. Seven, six, it smells nice, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look now. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we had a discussion about this one too because you see I am trying to weed out books on my shelves which are just eh, I'll maybe read it one day books because there are too many books and that I am not going to live for that long and usually I say to Kirsty what should I get rid of and for a change she was here in person to go get rid of that shit and also that and you're never gonna read that but I asked about this one and you said you should read it because it's great. Yes. This one more than the other two I think. I mean I love the whole trilogy but this one I feel like is kind of almost an urban fantasy sort of a thing. Yes. Um, because it's set in Prague which is kind of an unusual setting for starters for a YA book. Which was one of the reasons I bought it in the first place. Yes. And the magic is really cool and it sets things up in a really interesting way. And the characters okay. are great. There's some awesome friendships in it. Okay, I've got it now. It's fine. I've got it now. Oh. <laughs> it's another paperback it's another that paper gives nothing away. Yeah, I was going to say, like, there's not even any <laughs> things you mean. Okay, mm. I'm going to look. Ooh, mm -hmm. I didn't expect this one to be in the stack. Really? Mm -mm, yeah. Really? <laughs> and I must read this one because... Because... It is probably my favourite contemporary YA book. There is a lot of diversity in the story. It features a plus-size main character who has anxiety issues. Oh, so it's me. And has a crush on Lin-Manuel Miranda. Oh, so it's me. It's very pretty. It is. It's very pretty. It's okay. Okay, it's on the stuff. This is a big stuff. <laughs> Hey, look, it's another paperback that I can't <laughs> identify with my eyes closed, what a shock. I mean, I the fact that I hate hardbacks should have not surprised you with me picking things that were in paper. Ooh, ooh, that's going to press all my buttons, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so this is Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. You should read this book because it is an absolutely amazing story. Um, Brian Stevenson is a lawyer working in the South predominantly with death row inmates and life mm. imprisonment inmates who are often poor and African-American and who have frequently been convicted with very little evidence against them by white lawyers and white judges. And it will fill you with rage, but also Brian Stevenson does really, really important work and he's the kind of person that I wish would run for office. They get right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like it, so not, um, yeah. Oh! I double parked you on John Scalzi. <gasps> right! You should read this book because it is surprisingly funny for a book <laughs> that deals <laughs> with a lot with death. war and death. <laughs> but you should also read this book because it kind of at times was oddly reminiscent of the Illuminae Files. I don't quite know why, because they're very, very different series. Yes. And, but it was more than just the fact that they were set in space. Yes. Like, there was something more to it. I don't know what it was, but there was more of a comparison a, than I can pinpoint. A similar tone. Yeah. A similar tone. That. Yeah. And um, a, maybe a similar philosophy as to like life's crap, so let's mm -hmm. just laugh sarcastically about it. Yeah. This is just the big stack. We'll see how long this takes me because I read like a human and not like a cursey. <laughs> Um, I'm not kidding when I said this would not even be a month for me. Realistically, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Plus far, still eleven. So that's like a week's reading. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the buttery, weird feeling covers that piss me off because you just get fingerprints all over mm -hmm. them. So this yes. is probably not helping my cause. Okay. Oh, I've had this for a while. 
and this is Final Girls by Riley Sager. When you read this, you said, read it right now! So why should I read it right now? You should read it right now because you haven't read it yet and I told you to. Also because... <laughs> that's, that's a really reasonable way. Yeah, I just put it over here now. That's a really reasonable reason. I do everything Kirsty tells yeah. me to. Yeah. Also because murder. Yeah. And because I am super curious to hear your thoughts on it. Oh. So I need you to read it. Yeah, and tell me the thoughts. Okay. Oh, it's another hard fact that is I know. thoroughly unlike you. I think I might know what this is. What do you think I'm it gonna is? I'm going to guess and say, is it truly devious? No. <gasps> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to look now because I'm in the half. Oh, I should have known! <laughs> this was mentioned today. So today, Kirsty and I went to visit a beautiful estate. I will put a, a little picture in here. Possibly one of Kirsty's pictures because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't take any because I'm a trash <laughs> human. <laughs> and um, while walking around and looking at some of the paintings of the world tour that some of the very rich gentlemen went on, Kirsty went, I think I'm going to reread this book again for the third time? Yes. Or fourth time? Third. Right, third once time. last year and once this year, so rereading it again would be the third time. And I said, oh, you're going to make me buddy read that with you. So I guess that's what's going to happen with this one. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, uh, let me guess. Mm. Mm. Is it Karen's Law? Yes. Is it a standalone? Yes. Is it a book that you've told me that I should read on pain of death? Yes. Might it be Pretty Girls? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that was... That was that was all fake, I totally knew what that was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't have even I, got it from honestly, the raised lettering. I nearly or picked up Cop Town instead. Just, just to, to mess be an with asshole. You, <laughs> just trolling people is what Australians do. However, I have read the first chapter of this mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I know why I should read this, but please tell me, Christy, why I should read this. You should read this because it is a creepy AF story, which I know you will love. And it is a thriller that is from the perspective not of any kind of trained investigator, but from the perspective of two sisters who end up Ooh. investigating a crime. Oh uh, shit. Are you gonna do them that way around with it? Okay. Fine. I'm just it's, going to show yeah. people and then we can film a thumbnail with yeah. around the other way. I don't know if I'll ever be able to put <laughs> these down now, but here's what so do you want count up the books? Okay, so me. one for Jane Steele, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen books. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm ironically being choked by Karen Slaughter. <laughs> like, this, this is going to be July. I know what month it is. It's going to be July and however long it realistically takes me to get through all of these books. Honestly, is is this like this is a week's reading still? Or that is would be two. A, a week, so and a, a week and a half? Maybe two. Yes, probably two. I said 14. So that's two. Sometimes having a best friend like this is great and sometimes it just makes you feel inadequate and sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now because this stack is actually quite heavy. But if you have read any of these books, please tell me in the comments below if you agree with Kirsty. And if you don't agree with Kirsty, you can also tell me, but it won't count because she shouts louder than everybody <laughs> else does. Because I can shout in person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.